Hello, Kitty here. I have another fun video coming to you about uh, one of my favorite things, which is dollhouse miniatures. And this time I'm just gonna show you a little display that I have. It's on a bookshelf and uh, just had a little space that I was able to clear out because I needed more room to display my miniatures. And uh, you know, keep watching, subscribe, like, comment. Um, on anything that you you enjoy or you want to see or you want to hear about maybe prices or anything like that and I'd be happy to share with you I also have more videos coming that um, I have a lot of miniatures that are still boxed up waiting for plans that I have I want to add a yard so I've already been collecting some yard items uh, so with that let's get going and we'll take a look at my display on a bookshelf. So here we go. I have, uh, as you can see, I have some books here. And then I have some of my miniatures that I've got displayed. And I'll get in closer. So we're going to handhold this video. Um, I had gotten this little pumpkin. It's going to go on my dollhouse front porch when I do have a dollhouse front porch. Never mind all the dust. Poor. It's always the dust with me, but that's okay. I always hated dusting growing up and I decided I just don't like it. So every once in a while, yes, I will dust. Uh, so this was about five dollars um, at a miniature store that I am lucky enough to live about 25-30 minutes from and I already said in a previous video that every dollhouse needs a mouse it is um, supposed to be good luck and then I got this little pumpkin cake little dessert that I needed to have and mirrors are nice uh, at touch you know to any display or dollhouse um and it's an easy you know decoration to put on the wall up here you can see there's some tacky and that was for this little cuckoo clock it's so cute but it kept falling down so i was afraid of it breaking so i need to make sure that i can attach it a little bit better and this i had since i was a girl I've acquired these two pieces here uh, more recently in the last few years. We'll come in a little closer. And I've got some, uh, got to fill some things in here. I've got uh, some work to do. And we'll have to look through things that I already do have to see if uh, maybe I do have something that can fill some of those shelves. Now, flowers are always a great addition. Uh, they can be expensive. I do remember I paid $14 for this one. I got two at the same time so that, um, you know, I could combine shipping and that was eBay. And it turned out to be a really, really lovely flower piece. And there's a side table here with my candle and another flower vase and a little pitcher down below here. On the couch, I've got the A.A. A. Milne Winnie the Pooh book and my Sylvania rabbit. If you watched my other video that I just posted. Um, and then on the wall here, I did put these pictures that I liked in my frames for home use. And they turned out pretty nicely and saved me some money. Uh, so I just had to pay for the frames, which came two to three in a pack, uh, probably five to eight dollars just for frames. But meh, you do what you, it's better than paying for the, you know, picture as well, which can cost quite a bit. And uh, my lovely couch, I, there's the other, um, the other one that I got off of eBay with the combined shipping. This was a gift because people do know that I like my miniatures. So I really love this gold chair and it matches the gold in my couch because I do try for a more Victorian theme. And, uh, you know, after Queen Elizabeth, 
you got to have a corgi and you have to have cats and pets and of course mice and all the dust so this was also a, a gift uh, it's a little thick uh, for a dollhouse but it's cute it's got a bird there and then i have this side table that i think is so adorable um it's kind of there tilting on the wood slat of the bookshelf and on top you can see i have a little box it's really you can't open it but it's got the ship on the top um and then i have a little plate of halloween cookies because i like the halloween and i like the fall as you can tell and there i got my uh second wreath that i had to have because i you can always put it on a wall but as i said in the last video i am going to be putting one at least on my front door of my dollhouse once i reach that point uh and then i've got this big bookcase and i got that off of ebay i can't remember how much i paid for it but it was uh pretty reasonable i believe it was less than 15 dollars, including the shipping um, I'll have to check on that and see if I'm lying later. And I have more flowers there on the top that I did get recently. This little bell pepper teapot got recently. And this, what's this, what's it say? It says potion. And it's got a little skull cap on it. It's got glitter inside of that little potion bottle and more flowers and another gift that means something to me and here you can see i got this piece i was a little disappointed when i got it because it it's a little bigger than my 112 scale but i thought hey i can always um you know maybe put it on a bookshelf in my house somewhere uh you know fill it up and it even has these little side drawers that come out. One on the other side as well. Um, here, it's, it's not a drawer. It's a, it's a support for the, the desk that folds down. So I thought I can always fill that up, put things on the top here, maybe a big flower, and put it somewhere else in my house um, as a neat little display piece. So that's about it. And then you can see all my little books and things that I have yet to clear out. I need to find homes for all my journals and books and, you know, go through stuff in my house and, uh, you know, get rid of some things that I maybe don't use anymore. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had just watched this YouTube video earlier tonight in my bath because I take baths daily stay in there for an hour, try to relax. Uh, you know, I'll talk more about me another time uh, and tell you why I take such long baths besides it just being one of my favorite things to do. Um, but I was watching this YouTube video. It was just this little video about this woman who has 20 dollhouses in her basement and 170 room box displays. <laughs> She makes her own dolls. She makes her furniture. She puts, makes the doll houses. She just can't stop and she's in her eighties. And when I was watching that, I was thinking about my doll house bookshelf. And I think if you get desperate enough, you will find anywhere to display your miniatures, to play with your miniatures, to continue with your miniature hobbies. So I would love to hear what you all do, what you all have, what you enjoy, what you used to enjoy, maybe as a, a small girl or boy, uh, teen. So let me know, do like, do subscribe, do comment. I'm looking forward to more chats.